There have been three things that have struck me in particular about this theme of lifelong learning that we've considered in the last 24 hours. Uh, the first has been that lifelong learning means life-wide learning. This sense that all our learning and maturity is based in recognising and discovering, treasure-seeking the presence of God in the wider world seems to me to be absolutely fundamental to our life as disciples. The world isn't simply an arena onto which faith is practised. It's a place of discovery of where God is, whether that be in the middle of COVID pandemics in India or bombings in Gaza, or how we spend our money at supermarkets, how we engage with our neighbours and friends. This is the raw material of life and discipleship. And being receptive to God's presence in those places seems to me to be fundamental to learning, making those connections and discoveries renews the life of God in us and our church communities. But secondly, and related to that, if we have a life-wide sense of learning, it must also include an attention and a listening to the voices who are often not heard, the people whose lives are overlooked or unseen. We've spent a little time in this last 24 hours thinking about voices from popular culture and how that's often suppressed. We've touched a little on issues of class and how middle class values and culture often exclude voices from other cultures. And we've heard of different ways of learning from further education, which are a real challenge to formal learning in other places. Hearing people into speech gives dignity and hope and life. And then lastly, I've been very struck by a thought that when uh, we talk about lifelong learning, we're talking about our whole selves, bringing our bodies, our emotions, our lives, our feelings, our hopes into a space where we can both be accountable to God and to each other. And I think there are untapped resources which our Methodist colleagues have begun to explore in supervision and reflective practice, which is one uh, tool in the toolkit, which I think the Church of England in particular might wish to explore as we seek ways of nurturing spaces where we can grow into the people who Christ calls us to be.